guys, Thoughtsguy here with a video about my little new program called uh, Simple On Screen Death Counter. And um, it's very simple, <laughs> the name of it. Uh, I know there's others, Death Counters, you know, Death Counters have been done before, but usually they require like auto hotkey and download the script. Um, hold on. <coughs> and um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, a lot of other things. This only requires the program itself. That's it. And of course, that framework for client profile or something like that. Which most everyone would have anyways. You already probably already have that. It's basic Windows um, requirements and stuff. A Windows updates will give it to you and all that stuff like that. When you first run it, click it. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, um, you got start tag and tag. That's for XSplit. XSplit has uh, tags and stuff. When for uh, text documents and stuff, and um, for uh, various reasons, probably because you can have one text document and have each one having different tag. I guess that's what I'm assuming. Being like, okay, you want text from uh, I don't know XSplit, XSplit, or text from uh, count, count. You know what I mean? It's like that for one text document to another text. You know, like that. That's XSplit. Anyways, but for uh, OPS, remove them. I'm going to have to update this program. I don't have, I didn't have time for this video to have another checkbox that says OPS mode or OBS for you know. So ignore the, the these tags. So if you're using OBS, which I'm using to record this, and um, so yeah. Anyways, uh, hotkey here. You can click uh, multiple hotkeys. Not multiple, three. Sorry, this is like my second time recording this. I don't want to make another recording. Take again. So there is different key hockey um, keys you can have. Sort of set the hockey by default. It's H. So yeah, save count will save, and you don't see this hovering message, which I can see on my end. Apparently, I didn't when I first take I did this video. I didn't realize. Yeah, I don't see it on the preview screen over there, so I, oops, <laughs> anyways, it says messages, it, it's all documented here, you just hover and stuff like this, save count says, when checked, it will save the count, when program is closed, good for when you need to end your stream recording session, and want to keep the count, for like future use, like the next day you're going to continue on your run, and you want to keep your count number, you know, the same. Reverse order it just reverses it like off its message count and on its count message ways click none and one more thing add back to settings the same as everyone first one's the same screen anyways if hockey is none it will not change the hockey it will only change if it's something else so if you don't want to change your hockey just leave it at none if you just want to change this or these cancel of course cancels screens over here anyways here is current hotkey this changes to green when it's enabled and red is disabled <coughs> message you can change this to whatever you want just don't add this or you don't have two of them um, colon whatever it's called you know two dots anyways um this is settings, this is resets count, this sa um, disables, this starts when you me edit this message, so click this and it will uh, save it to anyways, let me get over here I want to do this after I went during recording <laughs> it's a good thing I can add stuff here while recording <laughs> oh, let me bring this over here see, now you see uh, this screen for text on OBS. This is OBS. Is there? You click t use text from um, file. Find the um, text document for um, count. Text. It's in this file folder right here. This is where it's stored with wherever this exe is. So you can just bring it there and you, there, right there. You can change your settings. I don't want to make another freaking recording set take of this. I mean, I'm laughing at myself. Anyways, um, you can do all your changes what you want to do with text, even if, like, it was just normal text here, you know? 
do whatever you want, color it. It's just basic uh, OBS's features. And uh, click OK. Now you get this. Put this over here. It says six because I was messing with this on my second, first count. It was okay. I might even ignore this. If this is up, I decided to use this video instead of the other one. I know. Very professional talking about my first take of this. Recording this. <laughs> Anyways. Um, you click, you know, start, and it's green, and you press H. And there he goes. You can see this count goes up. If you want to, um, sub count, for example. H. Now it's sub count. No, simple. You can change your sitting there. You can see there's two dots next to seven. You know, so that's why I said don't. Because there's like, you just get this. <laughs> Actually, don't have your cursor selecting that when you're hitting H or whatever. Yeah. See, you're gonna choose your hotkey for whatever that's not used in the game or something that's better that's not like uh, letter of unfair with chatting and stuff too but most of the games you probably want to be using a death counter if you're chatting uh, except for twitch chat maybe I don't know you can just disable while doing that and then re-enable anyways death. yeah see like right there see. H added <laughs> Anyways, I might actually figure out a way to lower that. <laughs> Anyways, decrement increment. <laughs> Anyways, it's very simple. As you can tell, it's very simple. See, death, whatever. There, 27. Very simple. Press reset, and it will set, and there you go. Save count will save it, like I says. When you close the program, you bring it back up with this checked and stuff after you just check it. Use it. Now close it, it'll save. And when you bring it back up, it'll say 7. And then if you use it again, it'll just go 8, 9, you know, for future use. Very simply used, like that. That's pretty much all. That's really it. Hopefully, it's very useful um, for. Uh, Twitch streamers that likes to, you know, do speedruns or death counters and stuff like that. Like that. No need to have a bot check, keep check of it, or have users keep check of it. Keep checking it yourself. With a simple press of the key. Whatever key it is. There you go. I died! Okay. That's one. I died again. Da da da, playing. Died again. There. This is a 8 minute video of just the simplest thing you can see. I hope you enjoy using simple on screen death counter. See ya.